Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today is my first impressions on the Norvina palette. I just received this in the mail, so very excited about that. Um, I created this eye look. It's poppin' pink. And yeah, so I really bought the colors for the purples, and so I don't know what happened, but I just went in with some pinks. So for this look, I use Wild Child, and the Wild Child is really popping on the lid. Absolutely love, love, love that. I don't know if it's because, and I can't see it in front of me, I used the color Marshmallow Gelato from Beauty Bakery to do the cut crease, and maybe that's what made it pop so much. I don't know. Or maybe that's just such an amazing formula that it absolutely like pops on the eye. I also used a bit of Volatile right here um love i use for the transition and the color base i put up underneath the eyebrow on and on the inner corner for a pop of color and speaking of pop of color on the inside of my waterline i went ahead and used the mark jacobs it's got a he's got a really light pink and then i took the volatile underneath the eye and just kind of smoke that out a little bit and then back in with the wild child towards the inner corner so what did I think of the palette? The palette is beautiful. It's got that really fuzzy exterior and mine's are already dirty. So that didn't take long, but I love, love, love the purple. I mean, I just was absolutely drawn to it for the purple. Now the inside. So in typical ABH fashion, their eyeshadows are just like, they fall apart when you put your brush in. So you've got to be very careful. Uh, basically what I do is I tap it back into the pan, use whatever I was going to use, pick up what I tapped off, used it. So I think that's the way when you get an eyeshadow that just has a lot of fallout, tap it back into the pan color and then pick it back up and use it. And then that way you get more uses out of it, especially because it just falls apart so this volatile really fell apart the love was about the same now the wild child it 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 actually kind of flakes and i think that's because of the glitter but it didn't flake as bad as you can see the top row as you know the bottom row it just really really flaked so my first impression is i like it a lot i think that wild child color is just phenomenal i mean it's just it's pretty it's absolutely pretty and i think it it pairs well with this gerard lipstick that it has a bit of glitter in it also so just a really nice color combination now i am going to go ahead and use uh, some more colors i'm going to do a look with the purples and i will probably do a look with these um more to, uh, tan toby Topi Colors Earth Tones is the word I was looking for. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm actually going to do three looks out of this. I am, you know, always curious to see who comes out with a dupe because the colors in here are going to be great. So whoever makes it to the board first with a great dupe of this is going to be, I mean, I can't see how they're not going to be rolling in the dough because the, the colors here are absolutely wonderful. I think I paid $45 for this, and a lot of the dupes come up around $16-ish. So, um, we'll see what goes on in the beauty community there. Now, for the first time, I did take out their eyeshadow brush to use it, and holy halibut. Like, the brush was really, really firm. I don't know that firm's right. Firm's not right, but it, like, hurt to put my eyeshadow on now i was out in the sun today so i did get a lot of red and so maybe that's what why it just i could pick up better on the brush quality it freaking hurt wasn't fun like i started this i put it down grabbed i think it was a morphe brush and the morphe brush just did a fantastic job it was softer it blended but their brushes in here if, if that's the quality of all the brushes, which I have them stockpiled from their other palettes, they're not worth it, in my opinion. I mean, you don't need to put a brush with the palette if it's not going to be good. And I just didn't have a good first impression with the brush that came in here. 
it, the packaging is beautiful. It's the standard ABH packaging, other, and other than this has the soft in it, just like oh the modern renaissance palette and the natural palette so this has got that soft velvety feeling and i do love that i just hate that it gets dirty but these are beautiful palettes and i like the mirrors on the inside in case you travel that's a good wide mirror as you're working on your eyes which is nice so overall i mean i probably give this this palette about a nine. I, I'd give it a 10 if it just didn't have all that fallout. But again, ladies and gentlemen, if you tap it back, the fallout back in the pan, you can pick up that fallout and still use it on your eyes so that you're stretching your the wear time on this palette. So that's a suggestion for you. Anyways, I really like this. So I give it a nine out of a 10. Um, it's just, it. It blended well yeah it just looks really really pretty so I can't wait to see what other looks with the purples and the neutrals that come out of this so we'll see in the next couple of videos how that works but that's kind of my first impression I hope you have a great day and if you want to see how I got this eye look it's very Thank excited you. about the Norvina not sure what colors exactly of course I mostly bought this because of the purples and I'm going to take out this little brush here you know I've never used one of their brushes maybe I'll do that today I just stockpile them so I really really like this palette because of the purples and the neutrals and I'm just in love like that pink just says hello baby and it's called wild child this one is celestial equally yummy I'm leaning towards Wild Child. I guess I can do two looks. I can do a pink one and then a purple one. Actually, I could do three. A pink one, a purple, and then just kind of the neutral. Let's go ahead and start with the color Love. Ooh, uh-oh. They're famous for a shit ton of fallout, aren't they? This color is Love. I'm gonna have to be really careful. Okay, I've never used their brush before. I'm not liking it, so I'm going to switch to one of my other ones. This one might be too big, actually, but, ooh, that feels so much better. So their brushes are hard. Ooh. I was hoping that they wouldn't have as much fallout, but, all right, so we're going to take the color, we're going to go with Volatile. I wish they could figure out how to have a good eyeshadow without a bunch of fallout that would be like the perfect Anastasia palette for me okay, I'm going to take a little thin brush here and pick up the color base picking up the color uh, marshmallow gelato from the beauty bakery Now we're going to pick up this color Wild Child. That's just exciting. Ooh, Lord. Okay, that pink, and I can't believe I'm going to say pink. Yes, I said pink, is beautiful. That might be worth the whole palette right there. So I'm going to pick up some more of this Volatile. Marc Jacobs has a really pretty pink eyeliner. And so I think I'm going to do that one on the inside of my eyes. That just really wakes up the eyeball. Taking this little pencil brush here. And we're going to mimic what we did up on the top below. And I totally bought this color or this palette for the purple, so it's kind of shocking me that I'm picking up 
the pinks in it. You just never know what's going to float your boat. But that pink is so pretty. Alright, I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to do my eyes, my eyes, my hair. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching the first impression using the Norvina palette from ABH. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I don't know. Do all the above. But I hope you had a great one. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.